absolutely. Um, so I can't, you know, give you the exact dollar amount. There's, you know, proprietary and competitive reasons why um, we can't. But I can tell you absolutely that SpaceX has invested heavily um, into this partnership and into the development of, you know, Dragon and Falcon. If you go all the way back to the days when, you know, we were developing our Falcon 1 vehicle. You know, it's the, the, the fundamental systems and processes and even a lot of the, the development of the engineers and team that, that created Falcon 1 are still working on the program today. Um, and then you can you fast forward and you look at the development of Falcon 9 and Dragon, again, in partnership um, with, uh, with, with NASA um, under the COTS program and the cargo programs and then continuing through now to the Crew Dragon. Um, uh, the partnership is, is definitely a two-way street. And we've put a lot of um, time and energy and, and finance in to that effort um, to ensure that you know we're ready to fly as we will be in, in you know in five days. Um, a, a lot of what you should look at is you see the the workforce that we've developed. You see the technologies that we've developed um, to ensure that, um, that that we're ready to fly. Um, another element to I think it's important to pay attention to is is you know kind of the the. I won't say pioneering because we weren't the first to do firm fixed price contracting, but I think it's, it's you know, we, we've been uh, champions, is a good word, of firm fixed price contracting um, from the beginning. You know, fundamentally, this is about saying to the taxpayer, hey, you, there's something you want us to do. Um, here's how much we're going to charge for it, and we're going to go do it for that amount of money. And that's a, that's a, in some ways, I think it used to be a pretty revolutionary concept, and I think we've shown that that is a very effective tool for um, getting the best value to the government, to NASA, and to the to the American taxpayer. Um, and uh, and as you know, as recently reported, um, you know, estimated that that this program overall will have saved um, NASA, you know, maybe 30 to 40 billion dollars at least. Um, and that's a, that's a significant thing to think about and see how that how we continue, you know, again those firm fixed price contracts and the kind of partnership and truly open partnership where we work together allows that kind of savings to happen and that kind of um, ability for NASA to invest in more things um, and do other programs.